Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your love reading in a moment. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Uh, this reading may not resonate with everybody, so take what resonates. Uh, we're going to see who you're connecting with here. And there will be an extended reading link in the description box and in the comments. Uh, so if it resonates, check it out if you like. With that, let's get started. Oh, I should say also that I will look at the next four weeks energy so it gives you some timing. Uh, also, I will dive deeper into the person you are connecting with. So with that, let's get another card. All right, we'll see what the energy shows. I'm going to pull a love note as well. There's a love note, and let's get a love oracle. All right. Okay, let's see what the energy is here for you. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm definitely picking up there was a separation between you and someone or there is distance, okay? It does feel like there has been some time apart from you and someone here, okay? I feel like there is going to be somebody here that is going to return because you do have judgment energy here, okay? With, uh, I think it says legal matters. This is, this is about judgment. Now, some of you, it could be someone that you're in like, you know, marital separation, legal separation, maybe even divorce, but others, um, it would just be right that this is someone that there has been some distance here and somebody here is, is returning. Okay. And what's happening here is you're going to have to decide, okay, you're going to have a decision about this person coming back into your life. It feels like you did not have control with the separation and you got let go of control issues. I feel like this is something, something happened that separated you and this person. And it's like you didn't, did not have any control. So now I feel like there is someone coming towards you. Now you, the love note you have is I regret walking away. Take the roles how they resonate, but it does feel like this could be somebody who walked away, but it almost feels like there was a divine intervention or something like that, like that you didn't, right? You didn't see this coming is the energy that I get. Now we do have uh, music on the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody who is a musician or maybe they play an instrument. Can also be an energy of um, someone coming towards you wanting peace and harmony. Cause I will say here too, you got healing and look at that. You got uh, past life relationship. You've known each other before. So another confirmation that this is somebody here from your past. I'm going to put those two here. Someone's coming back around wanting to heal things with you is really what that is showing me. Now, let's see. Uh, they're having regrets, definitely. But let's see uh, what the tarot has to say. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What other messages do you have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know? Please share with Aquarius. Now, I'm going to pull your cards. Uh, we will clarify what's needed as well. Oh, boy. Okay. We have a spill here. I'm going to take those first three. I think it's three there that, that fell out. Empress energy on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So it feels like, okay, wow, look at this. There's a decision here about this person. You do have the Ace of Pentacles and you also have here the Two of Cups. 
So I feel like your decision here, Aquarius, is like, is there potential for the future? The opportunity is coming, okay? That's that Ace of Pentacles. The universe is bringing another opportunity between you and this person. Here's your energy. We do have the Star card, and we also have here the Five of Pentacles. Now, this could be somebody, right? This could be somebody who ghosted you. This could be somebody, right, that you just... You didn't get what you needed. There was something lacking here in the connection. And I feel like this is someone, you know, maybe you gave this person the cold shoulder because somebody feels, you know, left alone is that energy. Let's see what else we have. Now we have Aquarius energy. Okay, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Virgo. I'm also getting a, a strong Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And interesting, we got an emperor here, and look, on the bottom of the deck, we have an empress. So this is showing me, this is somebody who is returning, okay, this emperor energy, or it could be an empress, either or. Somebody's returning here, and then we have a five of wands. So... We're going to see what that five of wands is. It feels like this, there could have been some sort of interference or maybe you and this person were not on the same page with something here. It's also a fight, you know, maybe this is someone coming around wanting to fight for this, but let's clarify the, some of these energies. I'm going to start here with this five of pentacles. Tell me more about this five of pentacles. Tell me more about this five of pentacles. Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles, got the King of Wands, okay, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. I said this earlier too, lack of effort, um, the, the Five of Pentacles, okay, but this is someone, um, I said Five of, I said Five of Pentacles, lack of effort here with the Eight of Pentacles, but somebody I feel is coming towards you, okay. And it was a situation where you weren't getting what you needed from this person. And look at that. Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands, and we also have the Fool card. So I feel like in the past, this is someone where things didn't really become in a stable place for you. Or it was a situation that it wasn't long lasting. Okay, does feel like this is a situation where there is distance. Maybe this is someone who couldn't take, you know, the steps they needed to take to bring things to the next level, whether it was commitment, maybe moving in together, some of you marriage, it's going to be different for everybody. But what I do see is I see this person thinking, I see a fire sign, a lot of you, it could be a fire sign, fire sign thinking here, contemplating, right? Maybe I should have done things better. Okay, now thinking about something long lasting, wanting to heal things with you, wanting to bring things into balance. Now seeing you as a partner, maybe this is someone who didn't see you as a partner. Now you do got the Knight of Wands here. Now this could be someone who was, you know, kind of in and out of your life, right? Especially with this Five of Wands. But let's see how this person is returning with the Knight of Wands. How is this person returning, coming towards uh, Aquarius? How is this person returning, coming towards Aquarius? Okay, three cards there. <laughs> Look at this. Five of Pentacles, and uh, we have the High Priestess. Some of you could, there. you know, this person could have B or J. In their initials or it could be something important to you you know what I really get here um, this is someone I feel in the past they didn't listen to their intuition okay that was part of what was lacking here because you got an emperor here and with this knight of wands this could be somebody who was really like listening to their ego more so than their intuition um, it also feels like there could be some sort of unknown factor here. Um, like I said, I feel like something kind of came between you and this person. It, and it was beyond, 
your control. I'm going to clarify what that could be, the unknown here. And then we have the chariot. So they're returning here. Now, some of you, they could actually live at a distance or could be some travel distance. But this is someone, it's, an, it's definitely an unstoppable energy. Like this is somebody who wants success. They want things to move forward, um, to get past I feel what happened but let's clarify this unknown energy they're very attracted to you yep there it is six of swords maybe traveling but some of you I feel like this is someone right they want things to move forward okay they want things to move in the right direction between the two of you tell me more about uh, this high priestess is there something unknown that Aquarius needs to know is there something unknown that Aquarius needs to know? You may have felt, uh, I feel like too, you may have felt this person was secretive because of their actions. You know, if they were hot and cold, if they, you know, just didn't see like, seem like things were consistent. Nine of Cups, okay. Yeah, I do feel like this is someone who was, um, you know, they were a little too casual about this connection. Almost feels like they couldn't make a decision. That's what was lacking here, Queen of Swords. I feel like you will definitely be questioning this person, okay? What's their intentions? You know, um, I feel like this person, they were secretive here. So if that's what your intuition was telling you, I feel that. It's not really showing me what they were secretive about. It could be this Two of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Two of Pentacles. Tell me more. Uh, why is the Two of Pentacles here? And actually, I might get an oracle with that too. Queen of Wands. Oh, I don't have to get an oracle. Yeah. They were giving their time and energy to somebody else. I see this as a single person. So it could be another uh, I'm sorry, it's not about male or female, it's about the energy, okay? So this is someone you weren't seeing much effort, even could be somebody who was breadcrumbing you, okay? That's what that's what the secretive, the, the secret was here. They walked away because I feel like there could have been another option, especially here with this Five of Wands. Let's clarify the Five of Wands. I'm actually going to use the Lover's Oracle to clarify that one. Tell me more about this uh, Five of Wands. Yeah, there was heartbreak here. Heartbreak, look at that. Didn't I say this earlier? Divine intervention. Divine intervention, it was beyond your control. It happened for a reason. Because I'm going to say, this is someone, yeah, they were a player. And they were a player, I feel, because they were fearful, okay? This may be somebody who had fear of commitment, Okay, got the, the player energy here. Okay, but I but it is a soulmate energy. Tell me more about this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. Signs and synchronicity. Some of you I feel like this could be a twin flame. You got um, I don't know if you can see it. You got two 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 here on the license plate. They could drive a BMW, all right? Yeah, this is an emperor who's getting ready to take action. Yep, here it is. Communication, text message. After a period of time, divine timing. So some of you are going to get a DM from this person. Okay. The reason why there was divine intervention, Aquarius, what they're telling me here with divine timing is even though this person was a soulmate, even though this is someone that it's a past life, some of you it's a twin flame, but there was something here about it wasn't the right timing between the two of you. And that's why this, it, it happened. Okay. That's why there was a separation it's almost like this person had to go in search of something and realize that, oh, you know, what am I doing? Because Aquarius is the one for me, okay? The past life relationship card here too can also talk about karma. This person may have gone, may have had to go through some sort of karma, especially here, this is justice energy as well. To realize, right? 
that maybe at the time they weren't ready to settle down, but now this is someone who realizes, right, I could have had it. I could have had it all with Aquarius. And it will be your decision. I wanted to ask um, one more question here. What's the question I want to ask? About their fears, their walking away. What What is the hope that this person has coming towards uh, Aquarius? Look at that. Faded meeting. The hope may be that they run into you somewhere if you live uh, close by. But I'm also feeling like they feel there's something about you, okay, that they feel that they met you for a reason. And I feel like they kind of had to go on their own path as part of their journey here, maybe to face their fears, maybe to realize that they were repeating a pattern. Maybe this is a pattern with this person that they may always run from relationships. And so they ran from this relationship because they felt something that they never felt before with you. And they realized they didn't find what they were looking for. And so here they are. And look, you've got street, uh, secret crush. This is someone who feels that special you know, that special, special thing with you. They get butterflies whenever they're around you. They're very attracted to you. This is also a suitor energy. So I feel like this person, like they kind of had to go on their own journey to figure out what they truly wanted. Because when the two of you came together, this person wasn't really ready is what it's showing me. But I feel like this person is coming back around different we will see in the extended. In the extended, I will look at what their what uh, the next four weeks energy shows. What they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance as well. So Aquarius, I'm gonna take it to the extended. I hope to see you there. Link is in the description box and in the comments. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.